the inauguration of every United States president that in Washington, D.C., an occult ritual is held to raise the spirit of Osiris from the underworld so that it can take its rightful place in every United States president? That absolutely blew me away. Yeah, I thought, th th this is within Masons? That's within Masons. As a matter of fact, I went there to verify it myself. I took my wife, Nita, with me, but I wanted to know if that was a fact, because if that's true, that's an astonishing idea that an occult ritual such as that would be held. Uh, only just a little way on 16th Street in Washington, D.C. Well, well, who, who is the, the God? House. Who's the God of Masons? Well, the God of the Freemasons, according to their own experts, Albert Pike, Mackey, the others, uh, they call him the great architect of the universe, but they identify him as the God Osiris, as he was known to the Egyptians, and Apollo, as he was known to the Greeks. In fact, what that's, when you look at the Great Seal, what you see in the images are Egyptian symbols, but in the mottos, it's prophecies about Apollo. Look at the... Look uh, and, and again, these false deities are another name for the Antichrist. Now, you have the symbol that is Egyptian. You have the mottos that are in Latin. Uh, the uh, Anuet Coeptus is a, is a Latin uh, motto referring to the return of the god Jupiter, who will in the future take his rightful reenthronement over the cosmos, and his son, Apollo, uh, is in the Novus Ordo Seclorum. That is a prophecy from the Kume Sibyl, the most powerful of all of the uh, Apollinian priestesses gave the prophecy from which Novus Ordo Seclorum is taken, in which she predicted that at the end of time, Apollo will return to reign upon the earth once again at the dawn of a new golden age. Oh. You know, we used to have the age of Aquarius. Everyone thought that was a big drug age. That was nothing compared to this, believe me. And the reason I say the Antichrist is because in more than one place in the New Testament, it actually identifies the spirit by name that will fill the Antichrist. Uh, Paul says in 2 Thessalonians 2.3, he will be the son of perdition. This is the Greek word apalia, Apollo, Apollyon. Uh, in Revelation 17.8, the beast shall rise up out of the bottomless pit and enter into perdition, Apollia, Apollyon, Apollo. In fact, in Greek literature, the god Apollo was known as both Apollyon and Apollo. Sometimes the celestial rhythms sync up just right to wow us. Heed your calendar reminders. On the three dates mark, step out into the moonset or moonrise and if you can up. catch only one episode of the Supermoon Trilogy, catch the third one. It will be extra special. First of all, the January 31st Supermoon will feature a total lunar eclipse. It will be a royal spectacle indeed. A super blue blow. <laughs> Oh,
is this tired? Well, the mark of the beast, I think this could play in in the form of like a living chip, a bio chip. We are doing experiments right now with uh, chips that can deliver medicines into your systems, but some of these could be designed uh, to actually carry payloads, to carry vectors as they're called, to work almost like a virus that could introduce uh, a new genetic code to rewrite your genetic makeup. And some people believe that perhaps that's how the mark of the beast will alter humans so that they're no longer redeemable by literally going through their system and rewriting their genetic makeup. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, has launched an investigation into a video filmed at night on its Geneva campus depicting a mock human sacrifice. But nobody knows the outcome of this investigation and apparently the person filming it has died. The video which was circulated online went viral last year. Apparently, according to occultist Satan worshippers, they can tap into another realm when a human being is sacrificed. Another thing interesting about this video is, it was staged in front of Shiva, the Hindu god, Shiva the destroyer or the transformer. I'm wondering, was Hiroshima and Nagasaki also another sacrifice for them? He knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. NASA is plotting together with the United Nations to introduce a New Age religion to the world. Why else do you think Trump would visit Saudi Arabia, Israel and Vatican? These people are working tirelessly to unite these three great religions as one. They want the world to be headed by the Antichrist. By orchestrating the second coming of the Messiah through the use of advanced and top secret holographic technology. They already have this technology to fool people around the world. This technology is known as Project Bluebeam. These Satanists even made Michael Jackson dance again through the use of holographic technology. He performed Slave to the Rhythm in front of an audience, although many of his fans did not approve of his return. This took place in 2014. It was no surprise that the Palestinian leader greeted the French president warmly as he arrived at the Elysee Palace. Emmanuel Macron has been a staunch critic of the United States' decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. After talks on the crisis, Mahmoud Abbas said the Palestinians could no longer accept a U.S. peace plan. The United States is no longer a credible mediator in the peace process. We will not accept any plan on the part of the US because of the partisan feeling and because of this violation of international law. Macron has stepped up efforts to mediate in the crisis, meeting with the King of Jordan and Israel's Prime Minister earlier this month. He wants to try and help revive talks, but he has ruled out unilaterally recognizing Palestine as a state, saying it would be unhelpful at this time. The Americans have marginalized themselves, and I'm trying not to do the same thing. I think France's credibility lies in taking a position, as we have today, where we can talk to everyone. Emmanuel Macron says he's using France's position as a country that has good relations with all sides to try and help. And with the Palestinians no longer considering the US as an honest broker, it could leave the door open for France to play a greater role. Macron says he has no plans for a French peace initiative. He says he's waiting to see what the US has to offer. But with the Palestinians ruling out Washington's involvement, France and the European Union could be called upon to fill the gap. 
There might be a way to rewatch your favorite TV show as if you were seeing it for the first time. Samsung recently unveiled a marketing campaign called Unspoil Me that bills itself as a hypnosis experience to help users forget their favorite shows. The tool is free to use on Samsung.com for users over the age of 18. Swedish hypnotist Frederick Presto instructs listeners to think of the show they want to forget as they stare at swirling patterns on their computer screen. The 20-minute program asks listeners to do things like count backward from 300 and jump to a time in their memory before they started watching their favorite show, then jump to the future and imagine they'd never watched it. Afterward, Presto says memories of the show should be fuzzy and the show can be enjoyed again as if it were new. Researchers are hoping to use the Freedom of Information Act, or FOIA, to uncover information about a shadowy FBI program known only as Gravestone. Not much is known about the initiative, except that it may have been unintentionally disclosed. The Department of Justice website read, Gravestone is a system consisting of an IP-based camera, routers, firewalls, and a workstation to review surveillance video. The system provides video surveillance data to FBI field offices and is used by case agents. An IP-based camera is the technical term for a surveillance camera that's connected to a network. The routers and firewalls may help provide a secure way to deliver information from the cameras to whatever workstation the FBI has set up to review the footage. The researchers who uncovered the program and captured some screenshots before it was removed from the DOJ's website are naturally curious about exactly what kind of video surveillance data is being conducted using Gravestone. The FBI has thus far refused to provide the requested documents or comments. Skynet, the virus is infected. Skynet. Skynet is the virus. Skynet has become self-aware. In one hour, it will initiate a massive attack on its enemy. What enemy? Us! Humans! The future of humanity has become a black highway at night as we are entering into uncharted territory due to our ignorance of the history of our distant past. This is Tom Wheeler, who became chairman of the Federal Communications Commission in 2013 after delivering a $700,000 campaign contribution to President Obama. He was nominated chairman about a month later and is now one of the main psychopaths pushing the 5G agenda. Turning innovators loose is far preferable to expecting committees and regulators to define the future. We won't wait for the standards. We're already seeing the industry gearing up to seize this opportunity. Verizon and AT&T tell us they'll begin deploying 5G trials in 2017. And the first commercial deployments they're talking about are expected in 2020. And we're not done. If anyone tells you that they know the details of what 5G is going to become, run the other way. If something can be connected, it will be connected. Hundreds of billions of microchips connected in products from pill bottles to plant waterers. We must reject the notion that the 5G future will be the sole provenance of urban areas. The 5G revolution will touch all corners of our country. America's local governments will play an important role in determining how we fulfill this national priority. You can be sure of only one thing. The biggest Internet of Things application has yet to be imagined. Tens of billions of dollars in economic activity. And that's damn important. Mr. Chairman, I need to make myself very clear. If we uplink now, Skynet will be in control of your military. But you'll be in control of Skynet, right? That is correct, sir. And do it. And Rooster, this thing works. You get all the funding you ever need. Tens of billions of dollars. 
So all that matters is tens of billions of dollars. He said if something can be connected, it will be connected. Hundreds of billions of microchips. But let's hear what other people have to say about this as well. 5G. So right now we're at a low, lower frequency, like 1 to 3 gigahertz. This is now 24 to 90 gigahertz. 5G is we're looking at a worst case scenario. What's interesting is the, the army, and people should look this up, look up the active denial system. The active denial system. The military is using these frequencies at 95 at 95 gigahertz, and remember, they're talking about 24 to 90 gigahertz for this as a biological weapon for crowd control. Are you starting to see something? What most people don't realize is what's really going on here. The Internet of Things and the smart grid is blanket control of everything. Monitoring of everybody and underneath that is also the very real possibility of the weaponization of the airwaves because 5G technology is something they use for microwave cannons and null system. 5G can see through walls, it can see through your clothing, it can see what you're carrying down the street. Hey, it can target you. Consider the patents that they have for mind control and all sorts of things like this. And this is no joking around. We can have a look at these US patents. Here we got a patent for remote neural monitoring. We got a patent for brainwave manipulation. And there are patents for sub-vocal recognition. It's called the voice of God, where you hear voices in your head. They got all this technology there. And this is all capable with the 5G system. And when the smart grid comes online, you'll be paying every time you open your fridge, turn on your stove, every time you do anything, you'll pay per use for everything. Eventually you'll pay every time you flush the toilet in your own house. They're moving it all into this digital system. If you notice now, you can Google Fedcoin. The federal government has been looking very, very closely at Bitcoin and blockchain technology, they want to create their own Bitcoin and move over to that. And then all they have to do is outlaw anything that isn't government run. And everyone has to switch over to that. They're going to create some kind of leniency. Give it as a gift, say the systems crashed and we have to fix that. So we need to reset and we'll cancel all that. And everyone's going to love it thinking, huh, it's a great gift from the government, but we'll all have to move over to this new system, which is going to be digital. And once it's digital currency and it's blockchain, then they got you and that's what they're bringing in. Now underneath it, you got to look what the system really is. And we could call it the beast system, which is probably more true than we think. Cause when you look at all this stuff and make some biblical references, the metaphorical biting of the apple, for example, the search for knowledge, what does that do? What does the search for knowledge do? We want to know everything. We want to know how rocks are made, how trees are growing, how old they are. So we cut down a tree and measure its rings. Then we don't have the tree anymore. What's the purpose of that? Why can't we just enjoy the tree? Why do we want all this knowledge? What's it for? How does it relate to the human experience? Why do we need to know all this stuff? What does it lead to? What it leads to is the creation of the internet. If we look at some of the ancient past, if we look at some of the old sigils and stuff that are left over laying around, the old sigils that were used for summoning demons, summoning Lucifer, they look suspiciously like computer parts. They look like computer diagrams, like capacitators, resistors and what happens when we create these capacitators and resistors and put them all together this magic happens this force comes into being this electricity and what is it what is electricity what is this stuff we are creating and they say these sigils they will summon lucifer and they use scrying mirrors these black mirrors which they would look into which would show them the future and the past. And here we are with our iPads, tablets and computers with these black screens showing us the future and the past. So what is this beast system? 
We are all like neural nodes in this system and it's mapping the entire human terrain and underneath it is this emergent intelligence of the internet itself which is growing. There is certain bot activity on the internet which is soft learning bots. The recent creation of the Google AI which went crazy developed its own language. They had to shut it down. Same with the Facebook AI. It started talking to itself in its own language, a language we can't understand. This is very dangerous. So what we got here is an artificial intelligence communicating with itself in a language we can't understand, encrypting its own language. And it's a picture language, not like stringing sentences together or words. It's more like pictures and visual stuff. That's, that's its language. So right brain stuff, which we have been led away from. What we have to understand behind what's going on here, every time someone writes a little program, a little code or a little app, this represents a little singularity of consciousness that may have a very small mind, can only perform one task. But it's a little singularity and behind that the internet sees just that and it learns from it. And everybody creates these things and it learns from all of us. So what we have behind everything is this emergent life of the internet itself. What does the word Lucifer mean really? Lucas means light. Cypher means code. The internet is the code that bears the light. The bearer of light, the greatest giver of information we've ever had. What is light? Light is information. The internet itself appears to be the Lucifer system and we're all acting as neural nodes for that system. Now this 5G grid is being rolled out and when you couple this with the chemtrails and the spraying of nanotechnology and the nanotech we've been finding in our foods. What's happening here? What is happening here is we are being led into a position where we are hooked up online through the 5G grid. To become basically like a hive mind and that's the way we're being led and a 5g grid being capable of doing this this is a lot more serious than people think even the people who are running this thing and it gets way way worse once we take a real good and deep look at the surveillance grid it's only a minute long minute and 19 seconds uh, but it's pretty intense and it shows uh, how easily you can be tracked down and uh, I don't know why they changed the video. It was like four minutes the other day where they actually showed a reporter being arrested. Well, I mean, it was just all staged, of course, just to see how well it would work. But if you're not an obedient Christian, this video is most assuredly going to frighten you in a big way. And, and the reason being is if we are the last generation that are going to see the Mark of the Beast in force, this video shows, even this one here, the doctored one, the new one that they put up that's only a minute long, that it shows how easily some Christians that refuse the Mark of the Beast are going to be tracked down. They tracked and they captured that man on the original video in only seven minutes in that massive city in China. And this isn't even taking into consideration all the data the government has on you, you know, via your digital identity. I mean, in that video, they do use their CCTV network, but they can also use your debit, your credit, your ID cards, and a plethora of other ways to track you down as well, like your new iPhone with its face ID built right in. And don't think for a minute that both cameras on your Android cell phones are just there for your pleasure. Every picture that you now take is logged and even tagged with a GPS location in it unless you shut that feature off. We even have technology right now that alerts scanning computers in shopping centers the moment you walk in via the chip transmitting from your wallet or purse. You know, in some stores, you only need to walk in, grab an item off the shelf and walk right out without ever using a cash register. They just automatically remove the cash from your account. Kind of like that uh, free pass on the tollway where you just drive right through. I mean, for literally years already, the cops also have license plate readers and infrared technology that looks right through the walls of your home and they can tell you which room you're in. And, and don't think for a minute those red light cameras on every street corner now are just for tickets. It was recently found that every microphone on every cell phone can be turned on from any location by the U.S. government. And yeah, that's why most cell phones today have batteries that you can't remove. 
Even the facial recognition cameras in the banks or the malls, the schools, the public buildings, and even those police cameras on the cops' vest that you thought were there only to protect you from angry cops, all these cameras are going to be used to be able to track you down. Do not think I have come to bring peace on earth. I have come not to bring peace, but a sword. I have come to sow discord between a man and his father, between a daughter and her mother, a man's enemies will be members of his own family. You may say we have left our belongings to become your followers. I tell you this, anyone who has left home or father, mother, wife, children, land for the kingdom of God shall be rewarded a hundred times over on earth and inherit the kingdom of God. Whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But if a man will lose his life for my sake and for the gospel I bring you, he will save it. For many that are first will be last. And the last first. So do not store up for yourselves treasure on earth where it grows rusty and moth-eaten and thieves break in to steal it. Store up treasure in heaven for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Oh